Hello, welcome to Linux video tutorials. In today's presentation, we will look into various features of RPM. Mainly, we will look into the query features of RPM. RPM stands for Red Hat Package Manager. Package managers makes life easy by installing softwares without much fuss. Let's check out some of the query commands of RPM. We will start with RPM minus QA. This will give us all the RPMs which are installed on our, our system. And as you can see, there are lots of RPMs stored here. Then we will check out a special RPM open SSH. So we are querying for a single RPM file that is open SSH. So here we have the output open SSH 5.5 p1 24.fc14.2.1686. Open SSH is the name of the RPM and this is the version number and this is for which uh, OS it has been built and this is its architecture right so now check out the other command rpm-qa open sh star what this will give is all the rpms whose name starts with open ssh is listed here and in the previous command it only gave the name of the RPM which is exactly open SSH so that's the difference between star and without the star now we will check one more command that is RPM minus QI RPM minus QI will give us an information on open SSH that like what kind of package it is when it has been built who built it when it has been released everything so here we have the name that's the version release installation date group there's a, si a signature to it when it has been built and the most important part is the description this is very important when you have an RPM installed on your system and you don't know what is it so using the QI feature which in which I stands for information you can know that what kind of RPM is this and what work it does now we will check out the next command that is RPM minus QG G stands for group and all the softwares on our system are uh, bundled into a group like open SSH was also in a group uh, the group is applications and internet now if you want to find out what other softwares are installed within this group we use the command rpm minus qg in double quotes applications slash internet and we get all the files like whois fetch mail java fz plugin wrapper all these things are under the same group next we use rpm minus qr r basically gives us what are the requisite files to install open sh this is very important when you want to install some files and previously you want to know what other things have to be installed so that your installation goes smoothly right so we know rpm minus qr depends on these files Next, we have the command rpm-ql. ql basically lists all the files which are installed by the system. Let's check it, check this out. Okay, so open sh actually installed sh moduli sh gen message everything. So these things, these files have been installed by open sh. Now, to just use to check out the documentation which has been installed by OpenSSH we can use QD so these are only the docs which are installed and another important feature is QC that will give us all the configuration files which has been installed 
same as like this right now if we do an QC or open SSH server we get this file this file so open SSH and open SSH server are different now we will check out rpm minus qs let's copy this file rpm minus qs will tell us that this particular file belongs to which rpm if the file has been installed by an rpm it will tell us it belongs to which after that if you are if you don't know what this rpm is all about you can just check out with rpm minus qi feature like this so the same commands uh, can also be used on the rpms which has not been installed i have kept an rpm in my slash temp this is the uh, uh, rpm file which has been kept in the slash temp and still not been installed i can use the same feature on this also but i have to add I rpm minus qi p p for package to get the same output as above so here we have queried a file an rpm file which is still not been installed using the minus p feature p stands for package hope you like today's presentation to download this presentation in video and pdf format please log into Linux video tutorials dot blogspot dot com. See you next time. Bye.